Everyone has heard about the game Monopoly. Dunya is just like that Monopoly game. The Quran gives us a, an alternative worldview. This dunya gives us a worldview also. And the dunya worldview is the wrong worldview. It's the worldview that teaches us that this big Monopoly game is real. It's just a game. Al-Hakumu Rivalry and worldly increase distract a few until ye come to the graves. And we stand in front of Allah. Some of us are going to be rich and some of us are going to be bankrupt. A person who was rich in Monopoly, but then what can they do with it once the game is over? The Quran gives us a, an alternative worldview. Because you see, this dunya gives us a worldview also. And the dunya worldview is the wrong worldview. It's the worldview that teaches us that this big Monopoly game is real. How many of you have ever heard the, about the game Monopoly? Everyone has heard of this game and maybe played it at one point in their life. When you look at this example of the game of monopoly monopoly is a game where the object is to make as much monopoly money as possible and to own as much property as possible and in fact the goal is to knock out the competition right that's why it's called monopoly you want to take a monopoly you want to have a monopoly on the ownership you know what is just like monopoly dunya you know how sometimes when kids play games and they get really into the game and then they get really upset if they lose, if they lose money or they go to jail in Monopoly or somebody takes their property or something. And then what do the wise parent say? It's just a game, right? Dunya is just like that Monopoly game. You see, in Dunya, a lot of people spend a lot of effort trying to make more Monopoly money. It's called dunya money. And it comes in the form of the US dollar, it comes in the form of the Singaporean, Malaysian, all the different currencies. But it also comes in another form. And that is the things that we covet, the things that we chase in dunya. The approval of people, the respect of people, the love of people. This is also a form of monopoly money. The praise of people. The likes on Facebook. These are all different forms of things that distract us. But at the end of the game, we realize that it was just a game. See, for every single one of us, this game, this Monopoly Dunya game, it will come to an end. We just don't know when. And when it comes to an end, a person who was rich in Monopoly, a person who got all of this praise and all of this approval and all of this power and all of this money, but then what can they do with it once the game is over? When we return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and now we want to buy something with our Monopoly money, it's like, you know, you take the, the money and you go and you want to buy a house. The house is worth a million dollars and you go to the builder, you go to the owner and you hand them your big pile of monopoly money and you say here, and what's the owner going to say or the builder going to say? They're going to throw it back in your face and say, this is worthless. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us on the tongue of Ibrahim alayhi salam, وَلَا تُخْسِنِي يَوْمَ يُبْعَثُونَ And do not disgrace me on the day when they're all brought back. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٌ The day when no wealth or children will help anybody. These things that we chase, right? يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ The day when all of that is not going to benefit anyone. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٌ except for the one who comes back to Allah with a heart that is salim, with a heart that is sound, a heart that is healthy. Allah is giving us the formula of how to be successful, ultimately successful, because it doesn't matter how you do in the Monopoly game. It's not going to matter. What's going to matter is what is your state when the game is over and now you're in real life. 
When this life is over and we stand in front of Allah, some of us are going to be rich and some of us are going to be bankrupt. Who are the people who are bankrupt? Well, the Prophet ﷺ, he told us one of the definitions of the one who is bankrupt. He asked his companions, who is the poor person? Who is the bankrupt person? And his companions said, the one who doesn't have money, you know, thinking in that way. In the monopoly game rules, right? The person who's poor is the one who doesn't have monopoly money. So they answer and said, the one who doesn't have money. And he said, no, the bankrupt person, the poor person on the day of judgment is the one who has come to Allah and they have prayed and they have fasted and they have done these obligations, but they have abused people. They have insulted people. They have slandered people. They have backbited people. They have hurt people until all of those people that they have hurt continue to take their good deeds until they're left with nothing. That's bankruptcy. And then when they finish all their good deeds, now they have to take those people's bad deeds upon themselves. This is the bankrupt person because true bankruptcy and true richness has nothing to do with the monopoly money. The Quran becomes a healing for the hearts, a healing for the society, a healing for our psychological challenges because it gives us a completely different worldview. It tells us that see all of this, this isn't really real. All of this is just the matrix. That it's not really real. It's a game. It's something that you want to use so that when you go to the real life, you aren't bankrupt. So when you go to the real life, you're rich. كمثل غيث أعجب الكفار نباته ثم يهيج فتراه مصفرا ثم يهيج فتراه مصفرا ثم يكون حطاما وفي الآخرة عذاب شديد ومغفرة